Hi and welcome again to digitalcameratutorials.com. In this tutorial I want to show you how to email a photo or more correctly to how to attach a photo to an email message. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Internet Explorer and we're going to go to uh, Yahoo Mail which is the client that I'm going to show you how to do it with Yahoo. So we put in our search for Yahoo, it'll bring it back. Once Yahoo opens up we're going to go to mail and it's then going to ask us to log in so I have to give my Yahoo email address and the password and then I sign in. So that brings me to what's going to be a familiar enough setup for you. Whether you're using Google Mail or Gmail or Yahoo Mail or Hotmail or any of them, they all work more or less the same way. So what we want to do first of all is to uh, go to our inbox and to check mail. So that'll bring us to the normal window that we're used to. So as you can see, I've just got the one message from Yahoo welcoming me to Yahoo Mail. This is a new account that I've just set up for this purpose. What I now want to do is to create a new email document. So I'm going to go New. Uh, on some of the email clients, it's uh, it says create a new uh, email or start new email or something like that. So I'm going to send myself an email. So I'm going to send it to... Dara underscore Mannion. I have misspelled that. At yahoo.ie. And I'm going to say hello there. Uh, look at my photo. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm ready to send my email. What I now want to do is to attach a photo to this. Now, all email clients use the same symbol. It's this little paper clip. So we click on the paper clip and it's asking us to go and find a picture or a document or anything to attach. In this case, we want to attach a picture. So we'll find that in my documents and then in my pictures. So I'm then going to scroll to find my camera phone here. I'm going to scroll to the bottom here where I've already reduced some photos uh, for emailing. So you can see I've renamed them with Mail Adam, Mail St. Peter's, Mail Pompeii, Mail Coliseum. So here's a photo of me outside the Coliseum. So I'm going to say yes, I want to open this and attach it. So the computer now is scanning and attaching the Mail Coliseum JPEG picture. It's all set now, so it has attached the Mail Coliseum JPEG picture, and it tells me that it's 106 kilobytes in size. Now, if I had inadvertently added that and I didn't want it, I could click on to remove. Of course, I could always attach another one. So I go to attach again, and again, I find a photo that I want to attach. I'm going to attach the Mail St. Peter's picture this time, and I'll open that. And it's going through the process now of attaching that. So they've got the Mail Coliseum picture, and now the male St. Peter's picture, which is 93 kilobytes in size. So once, I've, once I'm happy with everything, I just simply send, and the computer will go through the process of sending the message, and it'll eventually tell me that the message has been sent. So I'll just wait until that happens. It's, it, it tells me that this recipient is not in my inbox. I'm not particularly added to it. I'm not particularly bothered about that. And now the next time I go to check for email, it should bring in that for that email that I've just sent to myself. So here's an email from myself and it has the attachments here. So that's as simple as that. You go to create a new email, you use the paper clip and that'll let you browse to the pictures that you want to attach. It's best if you have resized the pictures to something around 100 kilobytes in size before you send. Uh, it's possible to send the full size pictures, then two or three megabytes in size, but it's much better to resize and make them small. Digitalcameratutorials.com